friends of Jaya, MK, and David. Hi. Hi. Today we are going to talk about our Newton Real Code and how it applies to Newton's law of motion. First of all, I'm going to talk about Newton's first law of motion and how it applies to our vehicle. Newton's first law said that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. This law applies to a balloon car because the air from the balloon pushes the car, causing the car to go into motion. According to Newton's first law, the object should keep moving until acted upon by an outside force. So why did our car stop? There was air resistance on the car. Force slowing down the car. Newton's second law is basically force equals mass and acceleration. According to the equation, when one goes up, the other goes down. So if mass increases, acceleration decreases. If the mass of the balloon car is increased, the acceleration would Decrease, which means our group would need to need it to avoid the car being too heavy or too light. A great challenge was balancing the force with the mass to get the perfect mass and the highest acceleration as possible. Force equals mass. The more force, the more acceleration. How does the Newton vehicle apply to it? the third law of motion? Air in the balloon is released and the, and the release of air releases a force. As start by the third law, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The reaction force causes the car to move the opposite direction. That is how our balloon car related to the third law of motion. Quicker, quicker.